Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Thank you again so much for joining me and for watching this video today where I'm gonna talk about Windsor sliding doors. You hear me talk about Windsor all the time. It's one of my favorite products. It's a great product made out of West Des Moines, Iowa. They're a 60 plus year old company. They're owned by a company called Woodgrain. That's a billion dollar a year company. So they've got all this good support behind them. And you know, they started off as just a mom and pop window and door company. And you know, those Midwesterners, man, those guys, they know how to build some of the best stuff. I mean, just a few miles away from them is the Pella headquarters. You've heard of Pella windows, right? Um, maybe you haven't heard of Windsor, but it's certainly worth exploring. And I just, I love everything about this door. I love everything about their product line. They're not perfect, right? They make mistakes. All window and door companies do. I know I do, but they're really good to work with. And if you ever had a problem, it's, uh, we can call them and it's like talking to a friend. Some of these other companies I deal with, it's like calling the IRS and getting put on hold and they have no idea who you are. But if you're interested in buying a sliding door, let me point out a few things to you about a sliding door. Now you might say, Jeff, what a sliding door, sliding door, who buys sliding doors? Oh, guess what? Sliding doors are back, baby. I mean, I remember when sliding doors was a negative, like, you know, a sliding door meant you couldn't afford a nice French door, okay? But sliding doors are back because sliding doors compared to French doors offer more glass space. And that's what's really cool right now about, about doors in general and windows is how do we get more glass? How do we have less frame? That's the whole goal is to have a nice, beautiful view looking out of your house into the pool, into the backyard. And also another thing I like about French doors is French doors, um, excuse me, I like about sliding doors over French doors is that a sliding door, it does not take up any of your floor space, right? So if I'm gonna open a sliding door, it opens like this, right? Versus if I'm opening a French door, that door either swings out and it takes up some of my floor space or it swings in and it takes up some floor space there. And so if it swings in, now that means you can't have any furniture immediately in front of the door, which maybe you don't anyway. But for those of you who like a French door look, but you're interested in a sliding door, they also make what are called French sliding doors, where it's still a sliding door, but down here at the bottom, they make this panel to the normal height, which is between nine and 10 inches on most French doors, so that you actually get the look of a French door out of a sliding door which is kind of cool too. So let's talk about a sliding door for just a minute. What is it I like about this particular product? I love that the outside is made out of aluminum because when you make a product out of aluminum, you find that aluminum is very durable. First of all, aluminum's not going to rot, right? Termites aren't gonna chew on your aluminum. That's not gonna happen. And aluminum is great when it comes to defending itself against harsh weather like rain, uh, wind, uh, even if you're like say near a coastal area and there's salt in the air, you know, it does a good job of that. Not as good as stainless steel, but it does a great job of being strong and withstanding the elements. Also, aluminum is, is, is going to help when it comes to uh, wind deflection, right? So when you, get a, when you get a product that's made out of aluminum, say compared to vinyl, if you have heavy wind loads, et cetera, like we tend to have in Houston where we have hurricanes, it's gonna be stronger and hold up to that. Also what I like about aluminum is it comes in a lot of different finishes. This is a powder coat finish. And in this particular product, Windsor offers this in two powder coat levels. They have a 2604 and a 2605. Uh, more on that in a separate video, but with a 2605, they'll actually put a 30 year warranty on this exterior finish. With a 2604, it comes with a 20 year warranty. In other words, you get it pre-finished at the factory and you don't have to paint this. I mean, if you've got a French door right now made out of wood, you're having to paint that door every few years, right? The, the, it starts to warp every time it rains and the humidity levels go up. Now the door pinches and it binds and it won't open and close. And yeah, I'm describing your door. I've, I've got a couple of those myself I need to replace. So, so getting an aluminum exterior like this protects it from the weather. Now what I like about this particular door is that it's aluminum on the outside, but it's wood on the inside. Can you come in and take a look? I'm gonna show you. So, so this looks like it's also aluminum on the inside, which was the goal with this particular door because we wanted it to look like, you know, an all aluminum door, like this right here. This is an all aluminum door. See how this looks, see how that looks. There's not a whole lot of difference there, right? So in this case, we're using this product to mimic this look. This is a Fleetwood aluminum sliding door. But we, so we have this painted at the factory. So I can get this in, in Douglas fir, I can get this in pine. I can have this either stained at the factory, painted at the factory, 
or we can do it in our paint booth here at our uh, distribution center before it comes out to you. But in this particular case, it was pre-painted at the factory. Gives us a nice, sharp, contemporary, crisp look. But if you said, Jeff, I like a wood interior, right? I want to stain it, or I want to paint it to match the color of the rest of my house. Having a wood interior is an advantage because now you can paint it to whatever color you want. Okay. Now the outside is, is aluminum, right? The inside is wood. I want to show you like on this particular brand, Windsor has, I think it's like 53 different colors to choose from. So look at all of these different colors you can pick. So, I mean, it's like, there's got to be something in here that you probably like. Some of these are really unique. That's a copper color. I think that's kind of cool looking. Like, you know, I like that. Of course, we sell a whole lot of like, just, you know, the regular, like there's French vanilla. Um, this is also pretty popular. This, this burnt sun. It's got a little too much yellow in it for me, but, but a lot of people do like that. We've got one called linen, but you see the idea here, right? There's a lot of colors for you to pick from, a lot of choices, and then you don't go finish a door. I mean, don't, don't buy a door and then have to paint it, because once you start painting it, you have to keep painting it. So I like that it comes pre-finished on, on the outside, and then we can pre-finish the inside, or you can, you, know, you can do your own colors. I also like that it's made out of aluminum that's not roll-formed aluminum, it's actually extruded aluminum. You say, Jeff, what's the difference? Well, real formed aluminum is like this. This is a sample. This is really thin, okay? I can, I can bend this quite easily. See, I'm just flexing that. That's pretty soft, bendable stuff. That's gonna get damaged, right, over a period of time on a door, and you don't want that to happen. This is a cutaway of their aluminum. Look at this. Look at how nice and thick and heavy that aluminum is. So you've got wood on the inside, aluminum on the outside, this is a powder coated finish, okay? It's not gonna need maintenance, except to wash it off every so often. And it's very, very durable, very, very strong, okay? Not roll formed, extruded aluminum. And I've got a video about their windows where I talk about, it's probably the, the, the brand you don't know about, but you should check out, Windsor. And I, I go into the, some details on that, on the aluminum. Of course, the glass is going to be the best glass you can get in the US. It's Cardinal glass. In fact, all the brands of windows and doors we sell, they all come with cardinal glass. Being a door, it's gonna be required to be tempered, so this is going to be tempered glass, which makes it four times stronger than non-tempered glass. It's going to be anywhere from 3 16 all the way to a quarter inch thick, each piece of glass. It's going to be double pane. It'll come with low E coatings for energy efficiency, argon gas in the middle, and it's gonna be very efficient, very comfortable. Also, great weather stripping. In fact, I'm gonna be quiet for a minute, and I want you to just listen to the sound this makes. Listen. You hear that? That's because this has really great weather stripping and this rubbing against the weather stripping in a good way, not a bad way. This really helps keep the air and the dust and the dirt and the pollen and stuff from coming into your house. But even more importantly, it helps keep the air conditioning from escaping to the outside or in the winter, the heater escaping to the outside. And so you're gonna be more comfortable in your house. You're gonna save money on your light bill. Your air conditioner is gonna last longer because it's not running so much and you're gonna really enjoy that. Now, as far as design's concerned, this is the contemporary option. If you notice down here at the bottom, I have this really low profile selected on this unit. That's a really low profile. So you get a lot of glass top to bottom and you get a lot of glass from uh, left to right. They do also have some more traditional looking options for this door, which you might consider as well. Several options there. You might even consider putting some, some grids on it. You know those grids, the dividers that go on the glass? I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But see, they've got several different options here, a lot of different choices to, uh, to pick from. One of my favorites is this one right here. This is called a 7 8 inch tall putty. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see. Look how tall that is, how that really sticks off the glass. Uh, those are go like right here, you know, dividing this up. It really sticks off the glass really cool. And what that does is it gives you a really good, rich, dimensional feel. Like I want to show it to you. It's right here. Come over here. Check this out. So. In that door brand, they also have windows, right, that are designed to match with that. So here it is. Look, see, Clay, can you get a close-up of that? Look how nice and deep and rich that is and how that stands off the glass. So these grid options that are available in any of their window lines that like you see across here, these grid options are also available in the door so that you can have a complete set. Uh, your windows and doors can be made out of the same finish. It can be made out of the same wood. It can be made out of the same grid pattern if you decide to go with grids. And it really complements it really well. I mean, savvy homeowners, right? Um, luxury homeowners or luxury home builders, 
know and appreciate a product like this. The video I'm doing for you right now can in no way bring to life just how nice this door looks and just how rich it feels. And one of the one of the things I like about this door, we ordered it this way, and you can't really see it, but this actually is a textured powder coat finish. It gives it more dimension. It takes some of the shine and the gloss off of it and makes it look really natural. In fact, it almost has a look of steel, and, and it's really cool. You'll have to come into the office and check this out. Um, here are some uh, options also for hardware. Um, this is the option that you're seeing right here on this handle. This is that Euro option. They have a recess option. They have this more traditional contemporary option. Of course, these are for their um, hinge doors, like their French doors and their front door and back door, that kind of thing. But these are the sliding. And then they have a lot of different colors to pick from. So as far as when it comes to design, you certainly can find something here that's gonna work for you. Um, price point, well, this is gonna cost less than say a Pella door or an Anderson door or a Marvin door. Not that it's a lesser door, it's a great door. It's in that same category. However, they don't spend as much money on marketing, right? I mean, do you ever get those Pella uh, flyers on your Facebook page? I do all the time. Or you get stuff in the mail. And I love Pella, by the way. We're, we're, like, we're a very trusted Pella dealer in, in Houston. And I'm glad to sell you a Pella door. I'm just saying, it's in, that, it's in that category of quality as Pella and Anderson and Marvin, but you're gonna find that it's gonna be a little bit more affordable. And so sometimes there's a, there's a chance that we uh, kind of maybe have to work with budget, right? I mean, because everybody's got a budget at some point, and, uh, and this is a terrific product for doing that. Any questions about sliding doors? Hey, feel free to jump in with the comments below. If you live in this area, come by and see me. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't live in this area, we get calls all the time. People are like, Jeff, oh gosh, I wish you were in Atlanta. I wish you were in New Jersey. I wish you were in Seattle. Hey, I have a lot of friends in the, in the window industry all over the country. Maybe I know somebody in the area that could step in and help and show you these products. If so, then uh, there's some notes down at the bottom here in the comment section of how you can reach out to us and we'll see if we can put you in touch with somebody. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you're having a great day. We'll talk again real soon.